this time it's personal. Hello, folks. How's everybody doing today after that disaster yesterday? Oh boy. The disaster I'm talking about is a tornado. Oh boy. Unbelievable day of football. Cannot believe it. My teams that I cheer for have lost many, many different ways, but not by a but not by a bloody tornado blowing in in the last 20 seconds of a football game. Oh man, unbelievable. 20 seconds roughly to play in the game. Up by two points. You know, Montreal's up by two points. I'm cheering for Winnipeg to lose so we can get the first place. And what happens? Gust the wind blows in, leaves blowing everywhere, the wind direction changes, the punter can't control the ball on his foot, kicks it, the ball virtually just about stops in midair and blows dead to the right and he comes out of, I think they got a plus yardage of about 15 yards on the punt. You know, this is after Castillo from Winnipeg already missed one field goal attempt. It was impossible over 60 yards. He's got an even shorter field goal chance now with 20 seconds left, well 10 seconds left to play. And plus the wind's still blowing, changed directions and it's blowing right behind Winnipeg. Unbelievable. I tell you, I was so disappointed. <sighs> Hard to say how disappointed. I'm just glad it wasn't a rider game that we needed to win and something like that happened. Oh my God. I think I ought to smash my TV and everything that was close enough to grab. Oh, I was mad. Unbelievable. I had all these big hopes weeks and weeks ago about we still could get first place. And we're 20 seconds away from another puzzle piece coming into, into place and boom, just like that it's over. Unbelievable change of events there. How could that happen? That one will go down in history, in my books anyway. I have never seen anything like that, where something like that can happen. I've seen games won by the wind, but not in the last 30 seconds. It gusts a hooli and changes direction. I seen during the game, it was, had the odd time when those leaves were blowing and I'm going, what the hell is that about? But nothing like at the end. Ah, oh, boy. You know, it's either Winnipeg's used up all their luck on that one and, or, they, or they're destined to win the cup. It shows two things there. Unreal. Yeah, Destiny was on their side. No doubt about it there. Uh, and then the Rough Riders, they just played terrible, which to be expected. They'll, they'll would have been feeling exactly the same way I was feeling, completely deflated. They we're thinking there, hey, we got a chance to go out there and win ourselves a first place position. And in 20 seconds time, boom, you're out of it. Like, I could have told you right now, a smart man should have ran out and bet against the riders because there's no way they'd uh, uh, have any incentive or desire to go out and win. 
I know a lot of fans are going, ah, that's what they're paid to do. But if you have played any competitive sports, you'd soon realize that <laughs> that is so deflating. It's like losing a close one, a close family member, you know, an hour or 20 minutes or 20 seconds before a game. Like, uh, it meant a lot to them, just like it did me and many, many, many more Ryder fans, let me tell you. Uh, but as far as our game, wasn't many highlights for us except for maybe the pass by Cohn to Stearns. Stearns, yeah, so first touchdown of the year. That'll be good for him going into the playoffs. But other than that, wasn't many highlights for our Rough Riders. Uh, some of the moves, I don't know what, why they did what they did. Of course, they pulled out about five players, which we knew that was going to happen with the game day decision thing. <laughs> I just would have loved to have seen what that locker room looked like after that amazing win by Winnipeg. It would have been, it would have been jaws on the floor. You know, I. Uh, as far as other things in the game, Cone, he was 50-50. I'm glad he got some playing time, but there were some balls he threw. I have no idea why he threw them beyond me. Wasn't even anybody close. And uh, Robustelli, Robustelli or whatever his name is there, he had quite a few targets. Almost made a miracle catch the first catch. And I thought maybe he's gonna get up hurt because holy Christ, he went after it hard. But he had one going across the middle deep. It was right in his hands and dropped it. You can't get on the roster if you do stuff like that. You'd have made that miracle catch. You made that other catch. You're gonna make the coaches think, hey, maybe we gotta get him playing, find a position. I'm carrying my bird feeder here. My arm's getting sore. I haven't got my rider stickers yet. I ran out of rider stickers. Putting the bird feeder up for the season. Well, I've been up all the time. I just painted her up, but I couldn't find any of my stickers. Got my black on today because of the loss. I turned my jacket inside out. I was debating whether I should change it. Wasn't really a real, well, it was a loss, but uh, there was nothing to win. I can understand it fully why we lost. Uh, now we have to regroup for the playoffs. That's what we gotta do. Like, Montreal didn't look too bad when they had their full squad in there. Went downhill a bit once Alexander took over, but we're going in on a downer and hopefully they can get, the coach Mace can get the boys wound up big time for the playoff game against BC. It's gonna be a tough one. And it looks like to me, I think we're gonna be a pretty standard roster that we had last time. Anytime we would have dressed full Borg or full load of starters. I don't think my dream of Godbar coming back is gonna come true. He's still showing on the six game list. And, uh, I don't doubt it. They'll probably go in with the three American linemen. Oh well. We've won a few games that way. I'm just going into the trees here where I usually hang the uh, bird feeder here. 
I'll get back to you here after I'm done. There we go, we got her up for the season. I'll bring my stickers. I don't feed any of the squirrels and the birds in the, in the summertime. They got enough stuff to eat around, but in winter, especially when she, I put feed out when she hits that 30 below, they need something to eat. Helps them get through our cold, cold winters. It's like me, I like a nice hot meal when it's 30 below. Yeah, there she is. Back, all painted up. Just needs the stickers. Ah, where were we? As you can tell, I'm still pissed right off. Ah, like, I, like I said before, guess I shouldn't be too disappointed. We actually got exactly what I wanted. It was a playoff spot. I was even going to be happy with third place and a home game is a still a big bonus and it'll give us an advantage against BC. I'll make a video closer to game time again, see who they're going to be starting, see how BC, what they've got coming at us. I suspect Adams will be playing against us. He's the guy that beat us last time. And then Rorick, we beat him. But I'm sure it'll be Adams. And he looks like he's playing pretty good. He's really elusive in that pocket. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Corte Moore back. There's a couple guys that'd be handy to get back that were off in that last game. That we're still injured. Yeah, I felt sorry for the boys having to go out there and play that last game. You know, that'd be a hard one, especially for the big boys on the line. Like, guys that are playing those line positions, anybody that knows anybody that played them or played it themselves, know that in that position, playing on the O or D line, linebackers, running backs uh, the guys that are slamming just about every play they're very very hard to uh, uh, get the heart to hit hard enough and play hard enough in every play like guys like Furland were getting beat big time bad I could go on and on but I don't blame any of them you know they're running the ball against us pretty good which Calgary couldn't do all bloody season. Yeah, you have to let that game go by and it looks like we didn't get any injuries, which was the major point of the whole game. Get out of there safe and sound. I think we got a couple nicked up guys there, but uh, should be healed and ready to go for the playoffs. I suppose the only other thing about the game I, I was a bit ticked off at was Williams and Henderson and LaCombo. My God, they didn't put any effort into it. In fact, I would say they were trying to make each other look bad, Williams and Henderson, so they get the start. I hate to say stuff like that, but on one particular play when they were on about the Calgary was on the 20 yard line, and uh, they got two receivers flanked out to the left on Henderson's and Williams' side. I don't know if they were playing their stupid zone, but even if they were, the play to start, both receivers on their side of the field cut to the inside, and Henderson drops back off into the flats on the left. Not a soul there. I don't even care if you are playing uh, zone. You gotta go with a guy that's going that direction. I don't care what anybody said. Both of them were useless. And LaCombo, by the time he got over there, I don't even know if LaCombo was playing at that point. I'd have to look back at it. I don't know why he was playing. I wouldn't have played him anyway. I had a look at Ford or Dulkey. You know, in fact, when Dulkey did come in, he got a sack. I think he was right up there with the most tackles. 
I don't know what they got against him, but I'd sure be giving him more reps. You know, Lacombo, he looks sick on a few of those plays again. One time he's putting his hands up like, where, where, where was my help? I don't know. He's the deep guy. Anyway, I'll better stop talking about the game. I'll get more pissed off. Uh, couldn't have been any more pissed off than I was after that first Winnipeg Montreal game. Man, was I mad. Oh, not mad, I guess. More disappointed. <laughs> it looked so close that we were going to make this happen. And we still had to beat Calgary. But we would have had our guys in there and had a really incentive to win the game. I think we'd have took them down. But that being said, move on. We got a ticket to the playoffs. It's all we wanted. All I wanted anyway was a ticket to the show. And we're in there with one. And let's go riders. Let's have a good week of practice and and uh, take down those Winnipeg Boo Bomber. I mean uh, BC Lions and then Winnipeg. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Go riders go.